Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how you can make a small mushroom farm that'll take a max of 10 to 15 minutes to make. This farm will produce you either of the two types of small mushrooms, so it'll do you well if you need potions or stews. As most mushroom farms go, it can be hard to collect a whole bunch of mushrooms really fast, but this farm will definitely help you in the long run. Here's the list of blocks you're going to need, and let's get straight into the build. To start, take two blocks of pot soul and put them on top of each other. Then, extend two blocks horizontally on one side and four blocks on the rest. If you want to, you can replace the short line with a different block because you'll end up covering it anyway. You can go ahead and finish this rectangle with podzol. Let me take this chance to go over some mechanics of mushroom spreading. Mushrooms can spread onto podzol, mycelium, or nylum on any light level, but the lower the light is, the more likely they are to spread. Mushrooms can spread in a 9x9x3 area around the original mushroom. Every game tick, a mushroom has a 4% chance of spawning in that area, assuming there are less than 5 already. Now that that's over, you can go ahead and build two blocks up on that short line I talked about earlier. Then place your mushroom on that one piece of puzzle. Now go over to the back, opposite the side with the two block extension, and place a row of building blocks. On top of those, place trapdoors facing the mushroom. You can now start to enclose the entire farm. For now, make sure you leave the entire front side open, and give yourself access to the trapdoors in the back. You'll need to use blocks that get rid of any light and don't interfere with the spawning area you already made. This farm will use water from the back trapdoors and a hopper system in front to collect all the mushrooms. In order to get the most out of this farm, we'll use a smaller, less efficient mushroom farm to tell the water when to go. This will allow the big farm to get 3-5 to five mushrooms every time. Once you're finished enclosing the farm, go ahead and waterlog the trapdoors. You can replace the middle trapdoor with a real block if you want, or leave it as it is. You'll then need to cover everything up so no light gets in from the back. Go over to the front and start placing the hoppers I mentioned earlier. These hoppers should be right along the edge going into one block. Without blocking any of the hoppers, you should finish covering the front side of the build. At the end of the hopper line, place down a chest and your storage system is all done. This is what the farm should look like so far. Let's move on to the second part of this farm dealing with the clock. Here's the materials you'll need. Start by placing a line of redstone on the blocks right next to the trap doors. Have a redstone torch power that line from the side of a block. From there, we'll make a pulse extender. This is very simple but hard to explain in words, so watch the screen and do what I do. Place a 4 tick repeater going into the pulse extender and a sticky piston directly adjacent of that. On top of the sticky piston, place a solid block and an observer facing away from it. Place 3 podzol on the temporary blocks and put mushrooms on the left and right. Now cover the podzol blocks so they become completely dark. Make sure you use blocks that don't allow any light through it. Remove the temporary block and let's begin building the storage system for this mini farm. Place a chest with a hopper running into it. On top of the hopper, place a rail and then a minecart with a hopper inside of it. And with that, your mushroom farm is done. It's a good idea to put these in high traffic areas of your world so they get plenty of time to work. I hope this helps you out, and if you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like and consider subscribing. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions, and I'll see you next time.